Hello Aquarius, welcome to your weekly reading from May 22nd to the 28th. This is for Aquarius, sun and rising. And if you're new to my channel, I do a traditional cult cross spread. I also use astrology and my guides to help bring a lot more clarity to get more specific and detailed with your reading Aquarius. I do this because I love you. I want you to feel like it's a personal reading as if we're here one-on-one -on -one rather than a general spread. Lastly, I use astrology because it brings a lot more depth to your reading now Aquarius. I want you to get really excited. This is going to be a very exciting week for you. It may be a very fiery week for you. And you know, the reason I say this is because let's break it down. Last week I told you Mars is moving into Leo and Sun. we're moving into Gemini season. Okay, that's the Sun in Gemini. So why is this a big deal for you? Two things. One, let's talk about Sun in Gemini first. We're in Gemini season. This is a month long. Sun in Gemini, that's your fifth house. Fifth house of pleasure love romance creativity self-expression procreation so think about the sun it's a shining light in this area of your life so i want you to have so much fun okay i want you to have so much fun this week it, 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 it you probably will and the reason i say that is because mars is in leo mars is in leo until july this is crazy this is one of the fieriest placements all right if you think about mars a planet of action ambition drive in a very fiery planet in 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 leo all right and mars is ruled by uh mars is a ruling planet for aries so when i say fiery that's like aries and leo's two uh fire signs are really really fiery all right it's really intense and it's just like energy 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 really 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 high energy mars and leo is all about uh it's very passion related it's having passion toward your passions it's taking initiative toward your passions it's feeling proud of yourself and you know being proud of what you're doing, being proud of what's to come, and lastly, being proud of how far you've come. Think about where you were a year ago. Think about where you are now. Think, just be very proud of yourself, okay? That Mars and Leo energy brings that. It also brings that confidence, confidence in what you're doing and where you are in your life. So I absolutely love this for you. Now, the reason why I absolutely love this for you is because it's in your seventh house. Mars and Leo is in your seventh house. The seventh house is a house of partnerships. So, a lot of y'all are going to feel that. A lot of y'all are going to feel that in terms of uh, whether it's work or career related or whether it's uh, love, romance, with a relationship, with a partner, okay? So, uh, this is huge. Remember, all this activity, this really fiery passion, like your heart's a blazing energy uh, toward your partnerships. I absolutely love this for you. Now, one reason why I think it may be uh, really relevant for uh, relationships at home, like, uh, like a, a love relationships, uh, romance, is because Jupiter, the planet of good fortune, good luck, prosperity, moved into your fourth house last week and that's your domestic sector so that includes relationships right so moving in with a partner and just having really heated moments with their partner like good heated right like very very like when i say love to like a lot of passion a lot of energy a lot of love remember sun and gemini your fifth house of love and romance now mars and leo and your seventh house of partnerships jupiter and taurus and your fourth house your domestic sector so this is absolutely amazing uh this is really 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 fiery all right so if you are single you better go up there you better go out there and mingle go you know i always say uh, you better get on the apps like uh, uh tinder and hinge or whatever the apps are these days i want you swiping right until your thumb is sore i want you going to the bars i want you to go to the libraries and uh the parks and you know the the your local zoo wherever you meet singles i don't even know go out there go out there. i want you to crash parties too this is uh, listen i want bottom line i want you to have fun i want you to have fun you've been going through uh, you know saturn was in your sign for three years it could have you know the past three years were a little uh, right so go f have fun this week please go have fun this week okay I, and again if you're single you may meet your soulmate i'm not gonna lie this could be this could be it we have pluto in your sign your first house okay even last week could have been a little uh you know pluto was at odds with a lot of it was being very naughty now the other thing that is really crazy about what's happening this week for you aquarius is that you know that saturn moved into uh pisces in march and so this is your second house. This is all about self-value and self-worth, all right? So it's salary, too, so you'll be taking all of this a lot more seriously. This Mars and Leo 
aspect is really amplifying that. And the fact that Jupiter went into Taurus, your second house, the fact that Saturn in Pisces is in your second house, Taurus is a native ruler of the second house. Now, I want you to take out your 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 phone right now and I want you to mark a date for me, okay? I want you to mark this Friday. I want you to mark Friday. What is that? Let me look at my calendar here. That is May 26. That's when Venus is sexiling Uranus. This is the loveliest day of the week. This is love is in the air. This love is in the air. Venus is the native ruler of Taurus that just went into your fourth house, your domestic sector, home, family, relationships, but also Uranus is one of your co-rulers. So you could have an, an unexpected moment, like a sliding doors moment if you're single. If you're in a relationship, uh, it's, hey, this is like a surprising moment with uh, uh, your partner. It just, it's, it's a great week. And I honestly, truly have fun this week, okay, Aquarius? Promise me you will have fun. Now, let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what's going on for you, Aquarius, for this week of May 22nd to May 28th. Aquarius, sun and rising. And again, if you want to read for your moon, your Venus, uh, all those other uh, uh, placements, you are absolutely welcome to. If you want more clarity, more insight in those areas of your life. Um, and that's it. So, Aquarius, let's go ahead and let's get started. See what's going on for you for May 22nd to the 28th. Now, Aquarius, I like I said earlier, I do a traditional cultic cross spread. It really does give the best overview, in my opinion. If we, if we need to pull clarifiers, <laughs> we will pull clarifiers. Aquarius, you're amazing. You're amazing. I love you. You're uh, you're amazing. Um, you uh, if you are new to my channel, I am an Aquarius. I'm a proud Aquarius, and I am gonna tell you right now. I am loving your reading. I'm loving what's happening here, okay? I'm loving what's happening here. It's 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 so funny because hey, look at what look at that. Remember your last week's reading, you did have the tower moment. Remember that. Remember. Now you got the tower in your past. All right, I love the synchronicity of what's going on like from last week to this week. I had my tower moment. I actually um it was, uh, you know, it was really interesting. I have like, you, you see, like I'm like have all those band aids. I had a tower moment, and it was like, you know, I'm fine and it, whatever. But it, it made me. It was like made me see something that I was like, oh gosh, I, I need to change that. So I had mine. It was minor. It was you know whatever. But it's saying that y'all uh, had a, a, a tower moment. Now, if you saw last week's reading, the energy I was getting is like this is something that's going to be uh, well. A, it's all tower moments are always you know uh, uh, they happen for you. Okay, not to for you. All right, to put you back on that path that you belong on. All right. Now I also said that for some Aquarians it'll be minor. For some it'll be major. Now it also depends on what day you're watching this reading because um, it, it still could happen if it hasn't happened but again think of it as a scale for some it's gonna be one some, some might be like a seven but hey came in your past but look at what's coming or look, well, look at what's in the heart of your spread and so when I say that tower moment was meant for you and it happens for you it truly did and you learn from it I hope you learned from it. If you didn't learn from it, you should learn from it, okay? Because you just got the Hierophant in the heart of your spread. Now, the reason why this is so significant is because the Hierophant is ruled by Taurus, all right? So there is a lot of activity happening in Taurus. A ton of activity, you know? Well, like, you, we had that, you know, Jupiter moved into Taurus last week. We had that new moon in Taurus last week. We have uh, Mercury in Taurus. We have Uranus in Taurus. We have uh, did so much activity happening in Taurus. Uh, uh, again, I, I just don't even... Uh, so the fact that he uh, came up in the heart of your spread, huge, okay? He is a spiritual leader, right? Not only the spiritual leader, be, uh, connecting the divine, right, with what's below our physical reality, okay? But he's like the Pope, a Greek priest. Now, if you think about the Hierophant, you know, I feel like you got the Hierophant in your last reading, too. Am I going crazy, Aquarius? Am I going crazy? I think that you did. Uh, listen, all I'm saying here is that you're in a good place 
this week. You may be even like a very uh, influential voice this week. You could be a very influential person this week. Uh, a lot of y'all, there is a structure and stability that's starting to build. That's what happens with the Hierophant. He loves that structure and he loves that stability. And remember, he's ruled by Taurus, which is all about comfort, all about values, all about uh, 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 stability and security. There you go. Now, here's the other thing. This is the only card. Uh, actually, it's the first card in the Major Arcanas where other people appear outside of the main figure. And he is someone with that deep, sacred knowledge right down to his soul. When you have that, you pass it on to others. So you could be very influential this week. And you could have had like that spiritual download uh, after this tower moment. But in any case, the Hierophant brings a structure. It brings a structure moving forward. It's you're good you're good uh, very uh society related too and you know you are the humanitarian so some of y'all are actually like uh maybe even on a global scale or even like a national scale there's something that you will have a lot of power even just like you even think maybe your neighborhood all right i mean just something bigger than like family but there is something that you are it feels like very influential now you did get the ten of pentacles but you did get the pen of at ten of pentacles in your challenge area so one thing that i want you to do uh well two things here one it feels like some aquarians feel like that um how do i even explain this let me tell you what this card is for first it's it is like an amazing card it's raining pentacles right now all right in the form of the tree of tree of life so this is money and wealth this is uh everything that you would expect now here's its prosperity it's 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 success it's uh it's you made it it's like your kingdom come okay uh some of y'all may be having a little bit of like uh let's just say with jupiter and taurus but then pluto opposing some of that energy some of y'all could still be feeling that perhaps with family okay perhaps with family you see the three generations of play here so there's a lot of family energy with this card but also with uh in terms of what you want moving forward there still could be like a point where okay this happened now uh the tower moment happened I know who I am. I know what I need to do. I am. I know that I have all this influence, but what's the next step for me? I still, you know, do I do, do I go down this path? Do I go down this path, this path? That could be a thing for you. It could be that like there could have been a moment where you've reached this prosperity in your life, um, and but you don't feel it, like where you just don't believe it. If that makes sense, and so. Uh, I want you to know that here's the thing you're 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 gonna be fine you're gonna be absolutely fine you got the hair font in the heart of your spread you get the ace of Pentacles and the world so let's start with the ace of Pentacles y'all want something new it's clear as day ace out of the minor arcanas aces usher in the most new change new beginnings uh, new paths new journeys Pentacles. This is the biggest pentacle in the deck. And when I say, look at the, uh, so look at that pathway, right? The golden pathway, the archway it really is a new gate. It's a gateway to this new beginning. All right. So while you are, uh, are thinking about uh, starting something new or you're thinking you have money on your mind, you have wealth on your mind, you have stability. Remember, I said Saturn moved into your Pisces. You're going to uh, into Pisces, which is your second house. You're taking that a lot more seriously now. Your salary, your income, your finances. But a lot of y'all are wanting this new thing to come through. A lot of y'all have had this new thing come through okay and that's great that's absolutely great speaking of newness you it's almost you know what it is you're at this you're at this juncture in your life where it's like there's a part of you that is uh moving forward uh some in a really big way and then some of y'all, all you want to do is enter this next chapter, this next era, this next stage in your life. That's all you want. Absolutely. That's all you want right now. It's like you're well equipped for the mission and you're just waiting for the green light and you're and you, you're waiting for that moment, especially with the Ten of Pentacles challenging the Hierophant here coming after the tower. 
yeah um so for some of y'all it could have been like a reset moment like okay well that i i decided i don't want to do that anymore i'm gonna do this but for some of y'all you're just like waiting you're like okay you're waiting for the right moment right you're waiting for the right moment to just like okay this is now i'm gonna do this i'm gonna move forward with this um um you're waiting for to hear some news about something possibly you're waiting for job opportunity uh even uh, relationships too as well now the world this isn't the root of your spread 22 paths in the major arcana 22 paths in the tree of life we've come to the end with the world all right and this is victorious you see that she uh the dancer here she's holding two magicians batons this is uh this is uh everything this is everything this is the end of one journey what comes after the end of your this is the end of the full journey the the hero's journey so what comes after that it's a brand new one you even see the zero here the garland shaped in a zero you know the fool that comes after the world where it's all cycles right and that remember that stability energy that comes with a hierophant like you really want that moving into this new chapter in your life this new era in your life i mean pluto and aquarius in your sign is huge the let's let's get that clear that's huge you know that and so you're here you know the four fake signs uh bring that stability with you moving into this new place in your life now uh this really is just you're you're ready you're ready to start this you're ready now you did get the uh five of wands in your future uh i'm not getting the fact that it i'm getting more like competition uh, in terms of uh some of y'all are looking for new jobs or starting something new and you're not the only person that's that's competitive right like if you're applying for a job you're not the only one that's putting out resumes for that job right if you are uh if you are uh the uh, um uh looking for a uh relationship you're not the only person swiping swiping right 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 on someone right there's uh you know a lot of other suitors that <laughs> that i don't tell me who says that word who does do, do people still say suitors anyway competition so that that's what's coming up the main thing that's coming up um there's also some competition that could be happening in terms of your physical world and it's more like egos at play uh and it's not even a big thing i'm not even it's just like especially because yeah there you go um so like i said it's not going to be a big thing it really is just someone standing up and saying hey y'all we need to get together we need to see eye to eye we'll you know when we do that we'll be good and that's going to be you aquarius that's going to be you you're come on you got you're, you're going to stand especially because you have the hair on you have that deep sacred knowledge you have uh, a lot more confidence moving forward you're building this structure stability you're not going to let anyone or anything get in that way and in fact you know when i say competition uh when i say egos at play like there could be some arguments happening or whatnot uh and this is all in your future but Think about the word competition. Let's break it down. Etymological root, competere from Latin, right? It actually meant to come together. So just be that person to bring everyone together. If there are people at odds at work or at home or, you know, even you with a relationship or whatnot, bring it in. Bring it in. The big group hug, right? Uh, hey, look, clarified. Remember how I said it wasn't going to be a big thing? I wasn't getting that energetically? It's not. <laughs> you just got the six of ones you're fine you're good you're absolutely good um this is a card of uh victory this is a card of success that you're fine if you can get past this like i said it's not going to be a big thing just be that person who says y'all come on no more no more yip yappy right let's just come on let's get together and 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 hug it out and again if it's like a competitive thing like if you are applying for a job if you are you know uh uh want to date this one person or you know single and looking it looks like you're gonna get it you're gonna get that person you're gonna get the job um hey this is you know remember this is you have to get past that little five the, this is just like more like annoying like not worth your time energy and this is once you get past that boom again six of wands all about victory all about success you see the people cheering him on this is uh you're good you're good and you know e this is a procession so this is uh this horse is is still going this is just the first of many uh achievements and successes to come you're absolutely great uh i love the fact that you do have the uh the hair font in the heart of your spread that is what's like really uh 
it's uh, kind of like uh, it, it's, it's fueling everything for what's happening this week. But it really does look like there is a lot of newness that you want to bring into your life now. There's some things that you want. You're ready for, you know, you're, it's, it's like out with the old, in with the new. Okay, that's the theme of the week. Now, uh, let's get to your stuff. Uh, Aquarius, if you like this reading, it would be great if you like, subscribe, leave comments. I really love hearing from y'all. Um, secondly, um, if you're a subscriber, thank you so much for being here. You really make my day. Thank you. Uh, and, and I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you, so I really am grateful and appreciative. So, Aquarius, uh, look at this. Yeah, look at it. You know, I think this is the third week in a row that you got the King of Swords. Correct me if I'm wrong. You keep getting the King of Swords. And uh, you know the King of Swords is Aquarius, okay? This is amazing. So, uh, it's almost like the message that's coming up is like, I just, no more, no more BS. That's all you want. No more BS. You face all your truth. This tower moment really helped. You have the hair font and the heart of your spread. Now you have the King of Swords, who is the king. If like I say all the time, if you were, let's, let's say you lived in the medieval times right now. Okay. You were summoned by the king. This is the king that makes your knees shake. He's so intimidating. He's so powerful. He's so smart. He's so clever. So strategic. Look at his sword tilted. He's ready to. He's ready to take action. All right. He's ready. Head above the clouds. The only king that looks directly at you. All right. Nothing to hide. No one can hide anything from you. You're just. It's. It's like in with the out with the is it in out with the old in with the new no more bs you just want to move forward now and you're going to be successful moving forward you did get the two of swords again there is a i want you to trust your intuition i don't think that's going to be a big problem for you especially with the hair font in the heart of your spread but you do see the sliver of the moon here uh the intuition so i want you to trust it the swords you can see them like that right on her shoulder so uh, this is a saying, really, she's blindfolded. Go within. There could be some uh, decision that you have to make. And uh, it's a lot about your future, all right? And I want you to remove yourself a little bit to just have that moment. Have that moment, have that intuitive download. Again, I don't see that being a problem for you. Uh, you're going to be fine, all right? Just remove yourself a little bit. You'll be fine. The goal is to take that blindfold off, all right? But... Uh, do really, really trust your intuition. Also, put some heart into it. Uh, put some heart into uh, this decision. Because one thing I'm going to point, two things I'm going to point out. First, uh, in your main staff or your main spread here, you didn't get any cups. Okay? Cups, love, emotions, wonderment. But you can see she's crossing off her heart. So, again, this is uh, in your external factors area. There may be something that you have to make a decision on. Maybe something that you are deciding this week. And it's time to really open up your heart. Really open up uh, your pineal gland, intuition, and just make that decision. Again, if you need to have that moment and remove yourself for a little bit, do it. Do it. You'll be happy that you did. And there you go. You got strength. That's all you want. You want strength. You can have it. You can have it. Trust your intuition. That will bring that strength. Mars and Leo, that's going to bring that strength. In fact, this card is ruled by Leo. You're fine. You're going to be absolutely fine. This is all about strength. It's all about that inner courage. Uh, a lot of synergetic energy here, uh, especially because she is only uh, she's one of two people that have the sign of infinity overhead and that is unlimited potential that's uh, uh limitless uh, you know possibilities right um that comes with having that strength and that courage and when i say synergy the lion is allowing her to tame her okay people forget that you can't just go up to the lion and just hug it it's not going to be a pretty scene all right so this is really just energetic and when i say strength and courage Think about where is that source of strength that you pull from to, to find that courage, right? Is it God? Is it the universe? Is it your children? It's tap into that energy. You'll find it and it'll help you move forward. I mean, you're absolutely great. And then there you go. Knight of Cups and your uh, final outcome. Finally, you got a Cups card. And this is really great. Remember I said Mars and Leo is going to be in your 7th house of partnerships. And, you know, Sun and Gemini in your 5th house of love and romance. Here we go. Knight of Cups. Knight in shining armor. The Mr. Romantic. This is someone... Uh, so, it does look like y'all are looking for that. Uh, a lot of y'all are looking for relationships right now. A lot of y'all are looking to take your relationships to the next level. If you're not here for love, this is just your passion. All he wants to do is fill that cup. All he wants to do is be... A 
emotionally fulfilled. All right. So this is really great. I love the fact that you did get the Knight of Cups. He's such a he's like cool. He takes his time. He's like the uh, uh, he's he's uh, the, uh, the 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 uh, Dylan of of nine oh two one oh. Is that a really late reference? It is right. Like back in the nineties. Anyway, I couldn't think of anyone else. But this is I want to show you something else. The wings of imagination on his helmet, on his shoes. Hey, a lot of creative energy here too. You see the fish all over his armor, representing that imagination, that creativity. Uh, he's such like dream dreamer type of person, right? And so I actually love this for you because it's like putting all that energy into the dreams that you want, into pursuing it, all right? So even that creative energy, and when I say creativity, a lot of people immediately associate that with like. Um, uh, like, like creative writing or movies, but think about creativity in terms of like uh, uh, being creative in terms of problem solving or you uh, being creative in terms of if you are going on a date, uh, first date, what can I do to make this date unforgettable, right? Using all, you know, and Aquarius, y'all are so creative. Y'all are so creative. And, you know, let's just clarify it. You are definitely, yeah, there you go. I'm out of my own curiosity. I'm just gonna pull one more clarifier. You're fine. You're good. Yeah. Uh, you got the Knight of Cups, the Page of Cups, and the Knight of Swords. So, it looks like there is something new coming through. Okay, relationship-wise. All right. Even taking something to the next level, but uh, really, just at this point, following your bliss. This is, you know, the Page of Cups really wears his heart on his sleeve right? You can even see his, his sleeves are red. Uh, you see that uh, more fish energy there, fish popping out, and he's so compelled by that fish popping out of that cup. Remember, cups, love, emotions, all of that. So this is all in your final outcome, and then you got the Knight of Swords, which I told you we're in Gemini season. This is ruled by Gemini, and uh, Knight of Swords is all about, boom, mental simulation. That's what the sun in Gemini does. Anything that's happened in Gemini, Gemini, your BFF, fellow air sign. Now, Knight of Swords, Uhtred, son of Uhtred, just boom, bold, courageous. You already got that with the strength here. Swords of the mental suit, remember that. So this is being in a place where uh, it looks like you're going to get something in terms of what you're pursuing, uh, passion, and for a lot of y'all, it's going to be new. It's going to be definitely new for you, um, but it's 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 this bliss that you're following, this enlightenment that's that's coming into your life, and then once that happens, it's like charging forward. Uh, I mean, he's so bold, he's so courageous. Think of knights; they're really active and they're fire. Swords are air. So what happens when you put fire and oxygen together? Whoosh, right and remember all up here so you're gonna be absolutely fine this week you're absolutely gonna be fine it's again you're you're so over the bs and you just want to just move forward and look at that you have the knight of swords page of cups not uh uh knight of cups in your final outcome in your final outcome like you finally like everything that you deserve you're getting remember don't forget you have the ace of pentacles as well and the world and the root of your spread you want this new thing in your life you want this new thing in your life and it's happening remember don't forget this either you got the six of wands coming after the five of wands in your future victory success you are absolutely great uh, and then, of course, we can't forget you pulled your own card. The King of Swords here. You're just done with the BS. You need to spend that time thinking about the next step. Uh, a lot of y'all will be thinking about that. Hair font in the heart of your spread. The biggest thing for me, you know, because it is bringing that structure, that stability. I absolutely, you know, love this for you. But you are moving into, and a lot of this will be love and relationships, okay? Uh, love and relationships, uh, but also it's what resonates with you. It can be just your passions. They just want to feel emotionally fulfilled. I love that you got the two cups, okay? I love the fact that you got the two cups uh, in your final outcome. But Aquarius, thanks so much for tuning in. Um, again, if you like this reading, it would be great. If you like, subscribe, leave comments. I love hearing from you. And, uh, and if you're a subscriber, you're amazing. Thanks so much for uh, tuning in. I do. Hey, y'all, I'm doing your June readings next month. And so um, 
Did I already tell you that there is a full moon in Sagittarius, like the very first weekend? We'll talk about that. We'll talk about that. It's in your eleventh house. I'm not gonna. I don't want to. I'm not gonna give anything away now. I'm gonna wait until you. Uh, uh, but June is very different from from May. All right. So let's. Uh, so I'm gonna let you go. All right, Aquarius. Thanks so much. I will see you next week. All right. Bye bye.